let us change the ubuntu 2204 ssh port the default port is port 22 so the first thing i want to do is i want to allow this port in ufw to allow the port in ufw i'm just going to use this port as an example so i'll copy that and i want to allow it on my firewall first of all i will do Control l to clear the screen and then i will do paste enter you need to be root okay i need to edit that but i definitely need to add sudo sudo and it has added it and if we do sudo ufw status it's going to show us that our port has been added so the next thing is for me to edit the ssh configuration file and if you don't want to use vim you can always use nano okay so in this case let me just use nano to copy we want to change the ssh port paste enter i will come down here port 22 delete and then i will add in the new port which is 7059 70 59 and i'm just going to save Control x and then y enter and i will do ssh not really ssh i will do sudo sudo service which service ssh what do you want to do with ssh we want to restart ssh enter there we go so Let's go and try to log in and you're going to see you can't log in. Okay, so let me try to log in. And I'm going to log in like this without explicitly declaring the port that I want to use. Enter. So I'm logging in via the SSH keys that we set up. If you forgot how to set SSH key, just go back to that video or go back to that section on this post and you'll see how to set it up. We have to let the system know which port are we logging into. So I'm just going to do dash small p 7059. Enter the passphrase. So if anybody tries to log into your server using the default port, they're going to be surprised. They will never be able to access your server. And that's just one thing to help secure your server. Most people think that you get hacked by people sitting in front of computers. No, you're actually hacked by systems, robots, okay? People have bots, systems that scan IP addresses. They try to access using the default, the default ports, default passwords, default usernames. So that's why you have to change your root user and you have to use SSH key. If you do that, uh, your chances of being hacked just go down. It doesn't mean you're foolproof, but... This will help you. You can see now if somebody tries to log in using the default port, they will be surprised. They will hit a wall. They will never go past that wall because they are unable to know your port. And this is good. So change the port. And you've seen how you can change your port. Let's see what's what's next. After we change the SSH port, the next thing is create a swap file. Okay. We are now getting away from the security things. We are going to create a swap file. Everything that you've done so far, you can watch in any of the, the sections for the videos that we've done. In any of the different sections, you'll find all this. Right now, let's start creating a swap file. 